In this video, we're going to talk headlamps for lighting on the trail. Coming up. What's up everybody? Chris here with MidwestATVTrails.com and today is 10 Minute Tuesday where we do product reviews in 10 minutes or less. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit off the beaten path and that's headlamps. Now I know that seems a little odd. Uh, we've done light bars and all that in the past, but we've never talked about headlamps when it comes to lighting at night. Now there's two reasons I decided to do this today. One, I'm in a hotel room and don't have a whole lot of ATVs and gear around me at the moment. And two, lighting at night is essential. I love night riding and hopefully you do too. If not, give it a shot. It is great. Obviously make sure you're safe, but it is a lot of fun. However, problems happen and light bars are great. But if something happens and you're on the on the trail and you have a vehicle breakdown or you got to go, you know, into the woods to try and find something, those light bars can only do so much. Having something small and mobile that you can either just stick on your head or even set down in a manner and point it up or down is a great thing to have in your gear bag. And I always try and bring these when I hit the trail. I've had multiple headlamps over time. In fact, I this isn't the only one I even have right now, but it's the only one I generally take riding at night with me. Now there's many reasons I went with this headlamp and I'll put a link in the description below. So make sure you check that out. I researched these for a while before I went this and I've had this one, I don't know, probably about a year now, something like that. But when I was doing the research, this one really hit all the spots I was worried about and with an extremely low price. This was less than $20 less than twenty dollars and you get a lot of bang for your buck starting off this has three leds on the front but four modes so you've got your main on you've got your two sides on and then you've got all three on then you've got a strobe i don't really know exactly what you'd use the strobe. i guess the strobe could be good at night if you're trying to get someone's attention maybe you broke down and they're ahead of you and that flickering strobe would uh you know probably shine off the woods and all that and you'd be able to get their attention pretty easily speaking of the shine this is a 120 degree beam angle so basically that's the you know how it's going to distribute the light is it this makes sense right but just never mind so 120 degree beam angle uh will really help distribute the light and these leds supposedly will last over a hundred thousand hours so you shouldn't have any issues with lights burning out on you on the trail speaking of hours this comes with a rechargeable battery pack that lasts six to eight hours that's pretty good. Six to eight hours rechargeable battery pack. Again, less than twenty dollars. The other cool thing with this battery pack on the back, it has a red light. So if I turn it on, uh, it's got a red light there that actually will display on the back of your head. Now you don't really need that, you know, out on the trail so much, especially there's already so many lights on, generally speaking. But it could be nice if you're walking along the side of the trail at night and someone's coming up behind you. You know, you've got that red light in the back, or if you're just using it to walk your dog. I mean, you could definitely use it for other items as well. So. Uh, those are definitely great options or great features. Also with this rechargeable battery pack, it comes with multiple chargers. So this is the car charger here, but really this is just a USB charger. So you can plug this into your computer or, you know, if you have a newer vehicle, a lot of them have the USB plug in nowadays. You just stick that right in there. But if not, or if you want to charge it on your machine, you just plug that into this, which is included and you're good to go. It also comes with a, just a standard charger. Okay, I don't seem to have the standard charger here, but it does come with a standard wall charger as well. Uh, I don't, I don't know where it's at. It's around here somewhere. I usually just, I like this one because it's USB and it's car and all that. So, all right, a few last things I want to go over really quick, and then we'll wrap this up. One being, when you put this on your head, you'd notice that it actually points up a little bit. That obviously isn't very helpful unless you're trying to see it on the top of your eyes. However, you can bend this down, and this has this clicks. It's got many different levels, so you can actually do a 90 degree. Uh, angle on this with this as well this kind of forms to your head i've worn this for a while it is a little heavier so uh, you will notice a little bit of extra weight i mean it's got the rechargeable battery in it however it forms to your head this plastic you know fits your head in a pretty good way and then this on the back is actually like a little bit of rubber there so it forms to your head relatively well and sits there rather comfortable i've really been able to wear this for a while without noticing any you know aching or pain or anything like that around my head from wearing it. All right, the last thing to mention that I almost forgot about, waterproof. We've, we've talked about this in many videos before. I've, I've done the speakers and all that where waterproof is essential. Last thing you wanna do is throw this in your gear bag and go to use it and it's fried. Uh, this is waterproof and heat proof, so you can just throw this in your kit, take it in and out, use it on the weekend, whatever, throw it back in, leave it in the back of your machine and it will be just fine. And another reason I love that this is waterproof is I can get it dirty out on the trail you know it's getting thrown around whatever dust is flying up from machines in front of me i just take it home and rinse it off 
It's great. All right, so that's all we got for this 10 Minute Tuesday. I hope that was helpful. If it was, think about smashing that thumbs up button. Otherwise, think about hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on future trail reviews, gear reviews, and other ATV related videos and news. And as always, thanks for watching.